Hey, this is Chris, Keeping It Real, Facts Over Fear. How you doing today? Let me get my sunglasses on before I get more sun in my face. That would really... Oh, there we go. Um, just to quickly reiterate something, and it, it, when, when, we, when I talk about I don't believe that masks work, it's, it's been... It, evidence has been hard to come by because there's so many variables. There have been so many variables at play during most of this pandemic. And so if one variable changes, and you can hardly tell if that has really had an effect or not. I mean, I think, I think we can safely say that the stay-at-home order, the initial stay-at-home order, did have a great effect on reducing the, keeping the number of cases low, because they weren't high to begin with. And, uh, and you might, then you might say, well, as people were allowed to travel more last summer, that's why the numbers started to go up. And, but you can't really say that because so many things were, were in flux at the same time. Uh, you know, the standards kept, I mean, it, it, the stay at home order was just one facet of the whole executive orders is what I'm trying to say. So that's why I find it interesting and, uh, and, and helpful to look at what happened after May 14th here in North Carolina, because on May 14th, uh, the governor basically lifted the mask mandate. Now, it's technically it stayed in effect until uh, like week before week before last. But most people in the state were were allowed to not wear masks. It was a, a vast majority. There were limited number of circumstances uh, where people were mandated to wear a mask. Relatively small pool of people. And what's interesting about that, that is the only, the, that is the only variable at that time that changed there. All the other things had been uh, lifted, uh, like, you know, uh, limited seating in restaurants and, and things of that nature. Um, and so we went to full on uh, no masking. No masking required. Now, didn't, that's not to say that people didn't continue to wear masks, but it was it was uh, completely at their discretion as to whether they wanted to or not. Uh, what's interesting about that time period, starting on May 14th and running through the July 4th holiday, the numbers of cases continued to, to decline dramatically. And so what does that tell us about the effectiveness of masks? It, you would have expected if masks were effective that lifting a mask mandate and allowing all those people to go without a mask, you would have expected within a week uh, for that dropping number of cases to turn around and start going up, and that's not what happened. They continued to fall, and we reached a low of 300 a day on a 14-day rolling average right before July 4th. And since then, of course, we all know that the number has gone back up, uh, but nothing's changed. Uh, except for what I think is really going on, and I've said this many times and I'll say it again, uh, the more you mix up the population, the greater chance this virus has to spread, and that is the main driver, <clears throat> excuse me, of, of this pandemic. And so I think it's good that we can find, I, it's, well, it's good for me. Intellectually, it's satisfying for me because I've always thought masks were a waste of time. Uh, but now I have some actual evidence uh, that, that tends to prove, that tends to indicate uh, that masks are not effective and then they are not an effective tool uh, to um, to do anything regarding the pandemic. So I just uh, thought I'd reiterate that in a, in a more clear fashion uh, so that you and not and not um, you know clutter the video up with a lot of other extraneous facts like I usually do. All right if you got questions or comments leave them in the section below like and subscribe we appreciate when you do and we'll see you on the next fact filled video.